This is part eight of the Blender Game Engine physics tutorial for new Blender users. And so now uh, this scene we have the same cone and the sphere set up like we had in the other one except I made copies of them across the space like this. And then what I did, I just came in and grabbed each one and I raised them up to a different level. All right, so they should still be all be perfectly aligned. And so the only thing you would think that would change would be the acceleration as it comes down would hit this basically because it's basically an issue of you know momentum and force should change these but let's see what happens when we actually run it all right so they all hit take off kind of differently notice how that one that one bounces up I mean so so it's part of this is you know related to uh, the precision of the simulator itself how the code was written the precision of the computer I mean, many f factors can come into play with this because it's not all so perfectly accurate but, but so sometimes you have to work around it and some of it comes into play as far as the collision boundaries themselves you know when I was talking about that radius button oh yes but let's take a look at this one right here when this one collides when this sphere collides with this cone and let's see what happens to that one it looks like it's kind of smashed into the ground and then this one over here I think it is the same thing is that one yeah, that one gets smashed straight into the ground. Well, why? I mean, you'd think it would take off if it was aligned perfectly above it as well. But it doesn't, alas, so you have to work around it. And one of the ways you can try and fix it is use it, these different collision bounds down here. In this case, by default, they're not in there, so it's just using kind of a general boundary. But we could put, say, a... Well, we could put a cone for the boundary. Now that logically would sound like it would fix it. Let's see what happens when we run it this time. And it does. It takes off and so it doesn't. Let's see if what happens if you look at it in here. Let's see. In close. Well, it still shows the spherical radius like that even though I have a... Like I guess it doesn't show up like that. Let's see. Well, that doesn't actually show up. So... That radius. <laughs> oh. Alright, so let's try it with a triangle mesh as well. That seems to work. Same with this. Let's put a triangle mesh on this one. And then that works as well for that. So a lot of it's coming down to, uh, you know, tweaking your animations, tweaking the shape of your objects, the radius, the collision boundaries. I mean, it, it's a whole host of factors. But eventually you can get it, you can work around it and make your simulation you know work adequate if you've looked at the integral calculus videos you'll see sometimes how when I'm loading these approximator cubes and objects inside other objects you'll see how they sometimes bleed through the boundaries of the other surfaces but you know you just kinda we can't expect perfection but it but we can expect a lot of fun okay well I just wanted to point that out and that's it for this quick lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson